terrorists. Hold on. Here's Tara's Daily Rant. Pay attention to what's happening in Chicago. This is the template for the country. If we do not win the presidency, at least control of one of the houses, if they ever get control of the Senate and the House again, this is how the country's going to run. It's going to be absolute, unmitigated, bare-knuckle violence by the Democrat mob. With nothing but ignoring the victims, ignoring the bruises, ignoring the bleeding, ignoring the murders, and praising the mob. This is why they need to get local police out of the way between you and the mob. That is the, the goal of the defund movement. Our side just can't comprehend it. Well, they're soft and quiet. No, that was the 1990s. This is something different, something we've never seen before. They want to make sure that the one group of people that might protect you from the mob is out of work. Given up? Moved? Somewhere. A wall. Hiding back at the station. They want to induce such chaos, such pain, such bloodshed, that you will beg and you will plead for police. And they will provide them federal police. I know this. Because it was one of the first shows I ever did here. It was the Obama's over 200 pages. I read every word of it. It was the Obama plan to federalize the police. They were going to start with the uh, upper brass and then work their way down. Cities and states would love this. They wouldn't have to pay for police anymore. They also wouldn't have any control over them. Oh, and they wanted to federalize the 911 system too. So they could have total control over it. Just, you know, they could decide whether they were sending these police. That answer to them. And we all know who law enforcement answers to at the federal level, don't we? Not the people. Not the taxpayers. No, no. The Democrat Party. Terrorists want it. Hear the Terra Show weekday mornings on News Talk 98.9. W-O-R-D, the voice of the Carolinas.